Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this February the 12th, 2019 at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask Marty Tischer to come forward. He's going to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come before you this evening in a state of thankfulness. We're just thankful for the food in our stomachs, the roofs over our head, the clothing on our backs, Lord. We're thankful to live in one of the greatest counties in this nation and to live in a nation where we can still worship you freely, Lord. We just ask that as we go forward in our personal lives and as this physical court goes forward with decisions it makes, Lord, that you would lead, guide, and direct us. And where we're wrong, Lord, please correct us. In thy name I pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good deal. Um, before you, you have the minutes of the January 15th meeting. Uh, do I have a motion to approve? Second. Motion by Sam Miles, second by Jason Bullock. Uh, any d discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Minutes are approved. Um, we would ask now for a short closed session under uh, KRS uh, 61-810, Chapter 1, Section C. Uh, do I have a motion for that? So I make a motion we go back in session. Second. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're back in session. I will say we conducted no build, no business while we was in there. We talked about some legal and uh, personnel issues. Um, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, I would like to have a motion to approve those. So moved. You got it, Miranda. Got it. Uh, any discussion on the bills, claims? Is there any discussion? I just blame from too late for this stuff. Little Bob Long. I put the standing order on the agenda. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's really because I actually didn't hear because it was coming two different ways. Okay. Are there any questions? Or any uh, discussion is the proper term. Okay, go ahead and go we'll call it, Miranda. More for you? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Counts? Yes. yes. The bills and claims are paid. Um, before you have the uh, uh, you have the uh, treasurer's January report. I move we acknowledge. Motion by Sam. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Next. We have the uh, clerk's financial statement. You have that? Mm -hmm. I make motion, yeah, to make motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, next, we have the uh, Audubon Area Foster Grandparents come make a short presentation 
And go ahead and introduce yourself when you get up here. Sure. Hello, Judge Magistrates. My name is Robin Mattingly. I'm the Social Support Services Director for Audubon Area Community Services. And I want to take just a couple of minutes tonight to talk to you again about our foster grandparent program. This is a federal program through the Corporation for National <coughs> Community Service. It's administered locally by Audubon Area Community Services. We take individuals that are age 55 and older that are at or below 200% of the federal poverty guidelines and we will place them in schools or Head Start centers and have them work one-on-one -on -one with these children that are considered at risk. They're either struggling with their academics, maybe it's their behavior, but we will assign foster grandparents to work with these kids. We ask that our foster grandparents serve a minimum of 20 hours a week. But in exchange for that 20 hours a week, we are able to offer them some benefits that are actually mandated by our federal funder. These benefits include a tax-free stipend, so it doesn't affect their Social Security or food stamps or housing. We also provide them transportation. If they don't drive, we'll put them on a, a bus or we'll carpool them. We pay mileage reimbursement if they do drive. We will um, provide them with a supplemental liability and accident insurance policy so that if they are in service and let's say they fall out of one of those little chairs that they have in the classroom, their insurance is primary, ours is supplemental, so they are not out of pocket anything for any kind of medical cost. Also, we um, see that they get a physical each year through the health department and then we offer them recognition events throughout the year. We do criminal background checks on our volunteers. It's a three-part background check, the National Sex Offender, public website, the state background check, and then they have a FBI fingerprint check. All of that is at no cost to them. Now, what they do when they're working with these kids, they can encourage them, they listen to them read, they help them with their sight words, they'll sit with them at lunch, they'll make sure that they are eating and nutritionally balanced lunch with the school. It's a perk for the kids to be able to sit with their grandma or grandpa while they eat. And statistics show that if a child is not reading at a proficient level by the third grade, they probably will not graduate. They are likely to be incarcerated. But if they are reading proficiently, <coughs> then they will graduate. And they will, in their adult life, be able to secure employment that will be enough to support their family as they go through their adult life. In Ohio County, right now we have five foster grandparent volunteers. We had six, but at the beginning of the school year this year, Beaverdam Elementary actually hired one of our grandpas to be an aide. He was that good. Um, and so we hated to lose him, but good for Beaverdam Elementary. But with these, the attention that these foster grandparents give, I can tell you last year, 93% of the students that were assisted with the foster grandparent achieved their teacher identified goals and they went on to the next grade. Our grandparents will tell us that they get more out of the program than they put into the program. Everyone will, will say that it helps them physically, it helps them mentally, and that stipend they get helps them financially. Your oldest uh, grandpa here in Ohio County is 87 years old. So <coughs> a minimum of 20 hours a week, more in most cases. You've got two grandmas here that have served 14 years and 13 years. We have a lot of people that don't even stay in a job for that long. So your grandparents are making a big impact on the students here in Ohio County. So I'm asking for your consideration for just a very small allocation of $750 to help us provide these mandated benefits for our volunteers. Any questions? I think we done that last year, didn't we, Court? And the year before. Last year, there there was not a contribution, yeah. so I'm asking again. Yeah. I don't have a problem with uh, taking uh, the six of my discretionary, and, or six of the 750 out of my discretionary fund. Okay, I would finish it up. 150 out of mine. Well, you can just, I mean, throw me in to divide it up. Okay. We, like I said, we, I use it at school. And Mr. Bailey was so good. Like I said, he's still there and still working with kids. So. Mm -hmm. Did you all like to? Wait a minute. Now, when we get that money, is there any security that we're going to be able to keep 
ones here? They live here in Ohio County. Okay. They serve here in Ohio County. Okay. And we can continue to recruit here in Ohio County. We would love to have more. Right. Okay. If this is a federal funded, why, don't, why does the federal not do the pay the money in? Well, right now, the federal is paying the entire cost for all volunteers in Ohio County, but we are required to have a 10% match. Now, does it match dollar for dollar for what is here in Ohio County? No, because it's a regional program, but we do ask we are mandated to have a 10% match in local dollars. So your 10% match for the region, how much is it? Um, I will have to check and see for sure. Um, federally, it's $234,638 is what we get federally. Okay. But that 10% match, you would think it'd be $23,000. But it's not. We have to match our match for some reason. So it actually works out to be a little bit more than 10%. Okay. okay. Well, uh, Larry's uh, agreed to put for Mrs. Christian money 600 and I, I said I would 150 and Jason wants in on it, so that might mean that we're going over a little bit. Well, I'll, I want in on too. So I'd make a motion. Those on the court that wish to participate, uh, divide that particular number into the 750, and that's what I'll be willing to pay. Okay. Okay. You get that, Ann? Yep. I'll second that motion. Anytime you can Anytime save one child, it's, one to want to participate. it's worth that. And I, I'm, I'm sure it's a good program. And it sounds like from talking to you, it sounds like it's been. Yeah. Yeah. So it, uh, <laughs> it'll cost a lot more than that if he doesn't turn out the way we want him to. Whatever, right. So. There you go. Well. Uh, let's just do the all in favor say aye. All right. All right. Opposed, like to sign. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Uh, Ann will get with you on how to get it to you. All right. Thank you. It's 150 pieces. You want to give her your contact information? No. You'll give her a business card or something? Yes. Okay. If everybody's on board, so. Okay. Uh, next, we have a, pre uh, a, a presentation from Junior Achievement. From Dan Douglas and Christy Harrison, uh, y'all want to come on up and do it. Uh, we're not really rushing you that much, but oh, we'll, we'll we need to get to the point because we got a long way to go. I see that. Thank you, Judge. Magistrates, good evening. Uh, good to see you all again. Uh, we were here a little over thank a year you. ago. And made a presentation. Hey, thank you. Uh, so first of all, thank you uh, for your last year. Uh, investment in uh, your future workforce of 2500 that you made, I believe, in December of 2017. Um, Junior Achievement used that to serve a little under 500 students here in Ohio County, uh, directly supporting your Work Ready certification. Uh, we also, with your investment, were able to uh, expand our programs into middle school. Uh, so it's not only a, a high school soft skills program, but it's also uh, some career exploration and financial literacy programs at the middle school. Um, obviously, the workforce continues to be a great interest in your economic development efforts that Chase is leading, as well as uh, fiscal court efforts. Uh, recently attended a, a chamber, uh, a Kentucky Chamber meeting. Uh, at any given time, there's 150,000 open positions across Kentucky. 81% of Kentucky employers cite that they can't find the skilled workforce they need to fill those 150,000 jobs. Yet 84% of Kentucky employers cite that they have moderate to aggressive growth plans in the three to five, next three to five years, which is only going to exasperate uh, that. Uh, so never, there hasn't been another time in our history that probably increasing the workforce and increasing the skills uh, of the workforce to get these jobs of the future is, is very important. And that's what Junior Achievement is doing in, in cooperation with uh, your schools and uh, your agencies here. Uh, we're not federally funded. Uh, we don't receive state funds. Uh, we don't receive United Way funds. Junior Achievement literally exists uh, through local donations. Uh, this year, we're, again, we're planning to serve all of your 12th graders with that soft skills program, which is directly supporting 
uh, your work ready certification. We want to continue doing that middle school economics for success program. Um, to date, we've raised about 3,100 of the $9,000 goal to fully fund those programs. We're about 6,000 short. Uh, as I told you all last year, um, we're not. We're also seeking those private donations, and uh, I think Christy's got some information uh, that she gave you. Uh, on the back there, you can see who some of our uh, Ohio County uh, supporters are. Um, in this day and age, I'll just let, leave with this. Um, Junior Shima is all about that old adage. Uh, it's much better to teach someone to fish so they can feed themselves for a lifetime than give them a fish and feed them for a day. Mm -hmm. uh, JA is very much about the free enterprise system. We don't think capitalism is a dirty word. Uh, and it's, uh, it's becoming uh, troublesome that Kentucky ranks 43rd in the nation with the number of uh, percentage of its citizens who are working. Uh, right now, only 57% of mm -hmm. Kentucky citizens are, are gainfully employed. So we need to increase our workforce, especially if we're going to continue to uh, recruit uh, businesses or start our own entrepreneurial efforts locally. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your donation last year. And hopefully uh, you all will see the benefit of JA and be able to invest in it again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you uh, thank you very much for your presentation folks uh, I will, I'm listening to uh, your um, uh, recommendations I do uh, have a question Chase real quick and this is I've been talking of course I work in the school system and the state next year is requiring all grade levels to be top soft skills to the state next year anyway so how is that going to, in 2020, how is that going to affect this if the state is requiring that the Board of Education teach soft skills K through 12 anyway next year? Not only are they requiring uh, adding soft skills to what they're doing for our workplace yeah, ethics really. into the K-12 curriculum, they're also requiring uh, financial literacy. We're not going to have through. to do them jobs. I just had reserves. a meeting with Superintendent Southern today. I have to do this. I have reserves. Uh, talking about that very and we're talking about jobs for fire departments out of our emergency. I mean, our uh, the money left over the land. We have the board to have any discussion on it. They think they need budget, something else. Or well, not the board, but the board of mm. so have a discussion that maybe they need something so else. They do need something besides the jobs. They have a little bit of but, we, I'm, but I'm, you know what I'm saying, I've got to wait to pay for some stuff like that. Okay. I like to do this for reserves. We'll have to be certified by the state, and once it's certified, they'll develop their own certificate that they will then uh, present to the Workforce Investment Board every two years, I think, to show that they're meeting that requirement. Well, and it, here's my question, because I help teach some of the JA classes, and I trust me, it's needed. But where does that involve, how is that, are we double? Are we? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we're finding in many of the school systems is there's no way they can duplicate this unless they're yeah. going to just create their own curriculum. So J A is coming in at actually a, a good time with these new mandates of being a very easy and turnkey solution to meeting the school's oh, needs and needing to document that we are teaching soft that. skills, we are embedding financial literacy. Um, so, to me, it makes us even more important that they're just now mandated because we can be an easy way for schools to be able to check that box off as it is self-certifying. Uh, schools can, the KDE, Department of Education, is going to say, did your school system meet this mandate? So will the, check or not? will the school system end up paying you in 2020 to do the uh, You see service? that we get a $1,000 donation. Uh, JA never makes any of our programs reliant on school system funding. Uh, we are happily accept that thousand dollars from Ohio County Schools. No, I can't answer whether they will increase their investment or not. Um, <coughs> that obviously, that would be fine with us. Yeah, right. right. Well, that's my question. If they're going to fund it anyway in 2020, in 2020, well, here, here's, here's do we need to talk to them and then see who what's going to happen and how? 2020. This is yeah. Here would be my final point on that matter is. There's a multitude of JA programs that mm -hmm. cover not only career readiness, 
uh, and financial literacy, but my favorite part of it and how I got started with JA was entrepreneurship. They have a type program that I've done every year that I've been involved with JA where students complete in, uh, compete in a simulated marketplace as a business owner. There's a, the V Entrepreneurial Program where over the course of six weeks, I develop, or, or the students form teams and develop a business idea and write a business plan to that end. So even if the school system decides to fulfill the uh, soft skills or workplace ethic requirement <coughs> on their own through their own curriculum, you know, there's still other JA programs that we can do uh, and, and are just as needed in my mind. And not only, uh, you know, we've, we've in the past year expanded down to the middle school level, but their programs go even down to the elementary school level that we haven't even tapped into yet. So there's, there's still a lot of JA programs that we can do even if the school system decides to fulfill their soft skill requirement with something else, whether it be their own or another third party provider. In, in my discussions uh, with the school system and other school systems, Davis, Henderson, McLean, Hancock, etc., cetera, um, the school systems have so much already, as you know, there's the testing, that's a moving target, uh, there's all the other accountabilities, and most school systems feel um, don't feel prepared to write their own curriculum when you've got something that's already existing. So we're finding that most of the school systems are, are continuing to use what yeah. we're providing to help them meet those requirements. And of course, I can't speak for Ohio County Schools, but that's just what we have found is school systems don't really want to have to create new curriculum if they can just simply use ours. How do y'all expect to do on your fundraising? I see where your goal is 9,000, but you've only raised 31. Is that, Correct. Is that something you're uh, at even now, or, or are you going to continue to try, and what do you expect to raise? I know your no, goal is 9,000. We continue to, uh, to fundraise. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a harder lift here in Ohio County, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we, need to, we need to find some new sources of revenue. Um, you all coming in last year was, was a big shot in the arm, which allowed us to go from just 12th grade to, to adding uh, that 8th grade program. Uh, but we need to make some new friends here. That is true. Uh, we need to find some new sources. Um, without being too tongue-in-cheek, um, as, as we travel around uh, the grad area <coughs> communities here, uh, everybody agrees that junior achievement is a wonderful <coughs> organization that should be funded. Oh, I'm, I'm, with, with, I'm some, with somebody else's funding, field, so, yeah. yeah. It's definitely, I'm <coughs> it's no, definitely it, needed. Yeah, no, I, I, told it, I totally understand your question. Uh, yeah. uh, but I, my suspicion is there's no school system that's going to try to do this on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if they've got an existing partnership with junior achievement. They may continue to do the level of junior achievement, or they may even yeah. ask for some new programs uh, and then try to supplement where junior achievement isn't intersecting with their kids in those other grade levels. That would be my hunch of what most school systems will do. Okay. I think you have to have your fundraising done. What is we're on a, a, I think similar to you, or maybe identical to you, we're on the July to June. Okay. Uh, fiscal so this year. is for next year anyway. Uh, this is actually for this year. We're oh. already 100. We're we're already providing the programs. Without yeah. Proof that so they yours is 2019 to 2020 is what year it would be funded. We're we're seeking funding now for 1819. Oh, okay. Ending in June 2019, as we're in the middle of our, our fundraising campaign. Okay. Gentlemen, what's your pleasure? I just don't think this falls under fiscal court. The way people have to pay their school taxes and all, I just uh, I don't see the fiscal court or support <clears throat> this. Well, and I, and I think um, I understand where you're coming from. If, if fiscal court's about economic development and workforce development, I think that's where you can make a case that we're, we're better preparing the workforce. But I understand your comment. But you'll look and see, we we really support the economic development through old CETA. Yeah. Um, we, we don't want to uh, tell this all evening, so I will make a motion that we uh, contribute $2,500 to, uh, to the Junior Achievement and uh, to take that money from reserves 
And do I have a second? If we're going to do this, I don't want to take it for reserves. So how about we, David, how about we talk about it? Yeah. And we decide by the next can we decide by next, next meeting? meeting? Can we talk to Mr. Southern sure. and come make a decision next? We will make a decision next meeting. And uh, okay. I just want to make sure that we're not double dipping on something that, or something that. We can make do. I've heard that. Well, that that sure motion. Uh, uh, like talk to Chase, yeah, that motion died sure. for lack of a second. Then, okay. But then I would rather use our own discretion. Okay. Uh, Thank you all very Thank you. much. Thank you. Yes. Uh, next, we need a we need to pass a. Uh, resolution 2019-10, and that's to put Joy Payton Road Bridge on our 8020 bridge. The one we had was went way over the bed. We've had to back up. We've had to do this one. So I need a motion to. That's your district. Right? Way over. I don't know. Ain't that in Larry's district, Joy Payton? It is. Yeah. So you may want to make the motion there. Uh -huh. It is. It's in fifth district. Which bridge is Joy? Uh, uh, it was uh, at, uh, what was the name of that one? What? That one that went way, way up. Shreve. Shreve was the one that went way over. It did. It did. Uh, We're getting it on another program though. Is this something in Kansas County do any of the work? We do our equipment. We do a. Oh, uh, we do twenty percent. That's called eighty twenty. Yeah. You'll make that motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Mm -hmm. Motion. Motion okay. for Larry Cam. I hear a second. No, Larry Morphew, and I'll second. I'm sorry, Larry Morphew made this motion. Second by Larry Cam. Any further discussion? So this is a, a new agreement to do the bridge. Yes. Eighty twenty. We do one. Yeah. Yep. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. I will need a signature on this. So. I'll sign it first and you can pass it around. So, that's not the only thing you have to sign. That's the 8020. Yeah. Okay. And they do the in kind on the 20%. Okay. Okay. Let's do this way first. Will it be an actual bridge? You, Maybe you both just. Uh, it's in. Uh, it's, 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 it's in box cover things, isn't it? Them, them uh, aluminum deals. It's sort of this. It's not a tile. It's a little nice box that box 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 or is that what I just signed? No. Okay. Dude, I'm not telling that to me. I'm glad you reminded me of it. Good to see you, Rip. Yeah. Everybody got it? Okay. Hand it back to her. Now then. What do you want? He's, he's down the list a little bit. Uh, okay. This uh, resolution we pass every year just continues to get our uh, everything in, in line so we can apply for 8020 and and uh, uh, our CRA money and all that. So Mo second. motion by Larry Cam. Second. second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Yeah. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That one's passed. Here's that. Uh, well, whatever. Boy, I was on a roll here. We're going to really be getting out of line now. Let's go ahead and bring Rip up. We ain't going to take him out of order. Come on. I thought about moving you down, but we won't. My overflow from Christian County has been working good. We've been staying in the high 50s, staying in compliance with the Department of Correction. Now, 
right now, if you remember, we borrowed 20000 from the surplus, and it looks like we're going to need it again because right now I'm 5000 that I owe them. It's been running around 5000 a month, uh, and that's my overflow. And not just the overflow, but I haven't just seen the ones that's, you know, that's wanted for murder. We talked about escaping, and that's the places we're keeping them because they got to go through so many security doors to get to where ours is outdated. So what I'm asking for is the court to do another 20000 to get us going for finish out this year out of surplus. Don't jump all at once, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, uh, you know, it's it's just unfortunately a necessary evil, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, I would move that twenty thousand dollars be uh, applied to uh, Rip's jail budget, so they can finish out the fiscal year. Do here a second. Second. Second, by Larry Morphy. So. We're going to finish it out, but come next next year. What are we talking? Are we just twenty. We're going to put six. that in the budget next year. So how much are we talking? Forty, 40, 40 more thousand dollars. Fifty. Fifty. Hmm. Okay. Any further discussion? That wasn't even the numbers we even talked about the other day. Uh, I'll make a comment and then we'll vote on it. Uh, Rip does us a good job to keep that jail open. And if it was to ever get closed, you talking about you've not seen any financial difficulty till you get into that. It's just it's just unreal what it would cost, and we do know that because uh, back in the Larry, you you was on the court then, certainly, and nearly broke the county last time it was closed just for a year or so. Um, well, not only that, a lot of people that probably DUIs or whatever should have went to jail because the transportation problem was. Didn't go. So yeah, yeah. On a Friday night, just before his shift was over, it's probably a hard decision to make, wasn't it, Elvis? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we don't want that. We appreciate Rip. Let's go ahead and vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. I'm pulling from all your discretionaries, right? Okay. <laughs> after after giving Rip this money, we got to move down to a bank letter of credit. I see. Yeah, and, and two two or three more here. Uh, this bank line of credit is nothing. It's not like we're actually going in debt. It's a cash flow issue. We're not going to spend any money. We're not fixing to get in, but we need to spend it before we get it in. Does that make sense? Yes. So uh, it's coming in cold severance money, but it's it's our road out. money. Which, road money. It's at start in August. We'll start early in. <coughs> so, uh, do I have a motion to approve the bank line of credit? I make the motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any further discussion? Does that mean we won't be going to the fourth first this year? Is that what this is about? Exactly. I thought so. But just as long as we're all on the same page and understand each other. <laughs> well, we may get that. Uh, if we get that new truck, it might have a left turn signal on it. I don't know. A right turn signal. Hey, that's what we want. Okay, yeah, you're left. <laughs> hey, uh, um, okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Pose like that. Get the money rolling, Ann. Okay, now this one is, is, is let Keith and Ann both come, both of you step up to the mic. Oh, man. What's this, uh, explain why we got to have this bank account for the road department. Is this going to take long? No, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you already know something about it. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. No, I didn't know y'all had been briefed on. Okay. I wouldn't make you stand up if I knew that. Yeah. But uh, what it, what it is is the uh, uh, road department 
uh, especially Steve, is always finding parts you can get on the internet that saves a lot of money over what our supply houses are. We don't have a mechanism to pay for them with. This was set up where we'd have a small amount of money in the bank account at the time so it don't get plagiarized and clean us out. Yeah. And, uh, and that way they would be able to order these parts offline. So move, right? yeah, so move on opening up a new checking account for the road. Motion Blurry Cam. Of a thousand dollars. Second. Yes. Second by Sam's mom. Yeah. It's not a big line of uh, no. checking. Thousand dollars. Do I? How much was the one? A thousand. Okay. And that checking account. <coughs> and this is for uh, parts to be ordered off of uh, line. There is a substantial difference in what you can buy it and what you can get it off of Amazon. That's the reason Amazon's are growing. Do what, Keith? He's been saving us a lot of money by doing it. Yeah. Using his own money. I don't know why he's yeah, he's been to pay for himself and reimbursing uh, us reimbursing him. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carries. Next, as we discussed in road committee meeting, uh, we, we're going to rearrange uh, with the approval of the state rep and the state senator, which I see no reason they wouldn't. And I'll take that with me when I go up there uh, Thursday. Uh, I'm, on, I'm asking you to pass resolution 2019-12, which approves the list that y'all got in the road department. Uh, Wait, I have to authorize you and all the magistrates to sign any corresponding documentation. Yeah. And authorize the signatures for the for it. I'll second that. Second by uh, Larry Cam. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Resolution 2019-12 is approved. You can do the rest of the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> we have talked, now Joe, you brought this up originally. We need a truck to spray the right of ways for the uh, highway department, for the road department. And we need a good piece of equipment to do it with. What we want to do is to buy, do this on a loan. And then we can we can either, there's an item on down that 200, a uh, house bill 200 list we can use, or we can leave it on the loan and pay for it later. But either way, we need to set it up so we can get this thing, get it used in this spring. So what we want to do is make that loan. And I need a motion to... Uh, Advertise for the truck, new and used, and authorize Ann to take out the loan and pay for the truck. I make a motion to advertise for new and used spray truck. We get the specs from the road department. And put the money on there, uh, and borrow the money too. No, 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 not until. We have to. We have to we approve have to the, the bid first. There's was it? Was that going through the state bid? Yes. So we don't have to have bid it. Probably not. What well, does? Uh, Sometimes I've found that sometimes state bids even higher than what can, one can be purchased. Yeah, that's well, in stock. That's, that's in stock. <clears throat> Just got to remember, remember when we bought the tractors that was in December, and we didn't get them until after the first mowing. Yeah. Now this was from the state or the state bid or. Yeah, it was. Uh, we bid that one. <coughs> no, we we. I can't remember. I think mowers and tractors. Yeah. We advertise for them. Yeah. I think I think you're going to be have to be adamant about telling that when we order this thing that it, it needs to be here certainly before spring because time. We need to we need to spray before the weeds yeah. start growing. Don't don't yeah. bid on it if you can't deliver it by yeah, that's right. uh, April the fifteenth or something. Yeah. Because uh, as Joe said, we run into that situation on the mowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm advertising it. But I, I would, I'd advertise, give us an opportunity yeah. well, to see if one's in stock. And there is a motion and a second on the floor for that. that. Bids, that way we, 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 we might, we might. Do we have, do we have second on the motion? Second, second, second with Joe Barnes. Yes, it might not have been. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. I don't believe it was. We're going to advertise for a, for a truck here now. Uh, 
Okay. Do you have the picture of the, 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 the clearance yeah. surplus for the uh, cabinet? Pictures, I have the five cabinets. Pictures of the cabinets, and then That's we have it. more than just that. Hold on, we have these too. David, when will the trucks from the department? I'm gonna let him present them. When will the bids be in? We have to have two weeks. Yeah. Can we, we have a special call meeting? Yeah, if we get things in, we do it. If it ends up being the, uh, either way, we can do that, yes. Okay, so the first item will run next week, and then we'll be special call. Keith, if you don't care what's on my mind, would you have Steve to be uh, checking it on the on the net and see if uh, see if there's any trucks out there available that's there on the lot or wherever? I would think there would be. It may be a little distant for us to go get it or whatever, but it might be our, in our okay. advantageous for us to do that. Yeah. Good deal. Next thing, go see these. These are five cabinets in Bessie's office that she no longer wants. We need to clear them surplus so she can do away with them. Yeah. Well, no problem. You'll make that motion to clear. Yeah, move to declare surplus to the five cabinets, five cabinets in clerk's in office. Clerk's office. Second. Second to Sam Small. Let's do that separate motion, even though it's on the thing at the same time. <laughs> Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay. I don't know, the, at the road committee meetings, the only place you've heard this, Keith, have you briefed them on this truck surplus thing? Any of these guys? We just did. We all talked about it. I make a motion to put unit 2, 18, and 19 in the surplus. I second. Okay. Okay. No, wait, should, wait, wait, hold on. There's three. She did. He did all three. Oh, two, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Should should we have a uh, should we have some kind of number price that we have in mind? Should we have reserves? What you're yeah, saying? Yeah, I don't want to give them away. You know what I mean? Mm. Who uh, who would you uh, be willing to put us a reserve on that, uh, Sam? On your motion? I would. I have no idea what that reserve would be for each one, and it won't be the same for a month. I think we'd like to. We can put a reserve on there, dictated by the uh, road Farm. supervisor. There you go. Well, I kind of like to know what it is, guys. You know what I mean? Before we. Well, okay. Because they might you know, be different on each one. They'll probably bring five grand a piece, won't they? I figure they should bring five a piece, but I don't know. What you put a reserve? Do you have to go by it? No, you can reconsider it. Just, I just, uh, and we've had pretty good luck of putting them on there. You know, I, I just, I don't know. And I, I know they're not the best in the world, but they're still pretty good looking old trucks. And at five thousand, you don't buy much of a truck. Yeah, well, they spent real good on all but one. One of them. Had one one yeah, good fender it. on the whole truck, and that's the picture we made of. <laughs> what, what model are they? What model are they, Keith? I forgot. I know we bought them since 2003 and 2006. Yeah. Two, three, and six. That was your international. That was your international. Okay. When you put it on the net, do you bid it? Let let allow the people to bid. Yeah, anybody in public could bid on them, yeah. Okay. That's from all over the place. That's so you want to put a, a $5,000 reserve and then it can be reconsidered at the next meeting if it doesn't bring it? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah. Sam? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we put Unit 2, Unit 18, Unit 19 to surplus with a $5,000 reserve bid on each. Okay. Even, even I don't know what kind of shape the bids, the bids are in. The dump beds are in, but even a bed, when we put a new bed on a new truck, I know mm -hmm. it's substantially more. Who second it? Whatever, so. Jason, did you second it? Or did Joe, oh, Joe second it? Okay. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying, we have trucks for sale. When will these go on there? Tomorrow. Charlie is off this week, so probably the first of the Okay. Yeah. Next on the agenda says committee reports, but I have a status change here. We now employ Charles, Charles Bullington at the senior center as a, a substitute meal driver. We want to add substitute custodian at ten dollars per hour. hour to that same hiring, the same substitute situation. 
So I put that name up. I just need a vote. Effective. A roll call. Effective. Effective. Um, this week. Today. How many hours per week? Well, right now it'll be 20, but that's very temporary. Uh, and matter of fact, when we get somebody new in there, it'll either go back to 10 or to nothing. Okay. But right now it's a substitute as needed. So roll call it. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Are there any committee reports other than the admin committee is fixing the report here in a minute? Are there any other committees to report? Judge? Yeah, I forgot this. Yes, sir? Uh, you have a committee, Matt. We had some that were sick, couldn't attend. But we finally come to the conclusion it's, it's really time for us to put this thing on the ballot. Let the people of Ohio County decide whether we need to build a jail or do the effort is to move all of our teams to another county. It's up to the public to decide, not us. So that's our recommendation. No, it's going to end up being a lot of informing done for him to have an informed vote. Would you like them to run a poll? Um, I'm not much on polls, but I do agree with you, Rip, that uh, I think it will be put on the ballot. And you guys, as well as us, try to sell it, sell it uh, that the need for it without the, without the jail, what we're looking at. And uh, because I know that, and they have to understand also, there there's probably going to be some extra taxation to compensate to pay for the jail. There will be a jail's tax. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, let, and let, the, let the public decide. Terms that but I know it's it's yeah. difficult to keep it going. I, the whole court knows we need one. Uh, nobody likes taxes, but uh, it is what it is. It's a good idea. We'll move on it to have the full jail committee here at the next meeting to report. Okay. Um. Uh, I have another. I have two board appointments here to both of them to the water board. One of them is uh, District 3, which is Eddie Embry. I put him up. Roll call it. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then that other one is District 4. It's Mr. Cletus Greer. Roll call that one too. Morphew? Yes. Small? Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now Jason? Okay, I just got a few changes. Well, actually, it's going to be one change to the administrative code. Um, you guys all got a paper on it. Some of you might have one and two changes. We're only going to make a change to the top one, the one. Uh, if you look at it, what we're doing is we're taking out each package up and paying them at least the work keys test or on the next paragraph have taken the keys test since they don't require keys if i'm right chase keys testing is not required by work ready anymore we're taking that out of our administrative code the reason we had that in there was to get our numbers up for to become work ready well now the state comes back and says you don't have to have that to become work ready now so we're just going to take it out of our administrative code and just it's just going to say now require obtain a high school diploma or equivalent and not uh have the keys testing on there and if you have the number two on here we're not we're not going to address that we're going to leave it like it was and leave it alone and not make a change to it so the only changes are is that we're removing the works keys test from the administrative code that you're required to take that and i'm going to put that in the form of a motion second Motion by Jason Book, second by Sam Small, to amend the administrative code. First reading. First reading. Does that also apply to uh, vote again next time? Full times. Yes. Is that yes? No seasonal, temporary, and then full time. It requires both of them. And, and I thought maybe the the committee would come back with a alternate test that didn't cost and all that, but. We didn't at this time, so that's right, something. At this time, we just didn't have. So in, we just in June, 
when we do the uh, look at the uh, thing in, a, in as a whole, we may want to uh, put a different test on there. But so now we don't. Have well, I know Jason said that the state he they did this to move their numbers up, and now they don't have to. I just wondered if that required full time employment as well was considered. No, we're not requiring full time employees to take the test now. No. Full or seasonal part time test, people can take the test. And we were to try to help with their yeah. numbers to get work ready certified, and now it's not going to help us. Okay. Uh, uh, you don't have to do an, an amendment. You can just put it in the minutes, and we do that in June, so we don't have to have that first and second reading. There, there's two paragraphs. And it won't technically need an ordinance number either, but I was keeping up with it with ordinance numbers. If however Renetta wants to do it. You want an ordinance number or no? No? Okay. Okay. Just, the, just the motion to have in the minutes then. So, we uh, need to talk about that tape test, bringing it back. <coughs> But at this time, we're just taking it. Okay. But it says in each paragraph, is full or part-time employment. And the next paragraph says, people seeking seasonal or temporary. So it, it applies to everybody. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like saying. Motion carries. Um, are there any other committees? Being none, let's go to Sam. I uh, don't really have nothing right now, Judge. Jason. No, thank you. Joe. I've got one thing, you know, it, it might help like what we did today with the uh, <coughs> other junior achievement and the grandparents, maybe we could run that by through the finance <coughs> committee. Yes, sir. We could do a little bit more. Yes, sir. Uh, I was thinking. In You're right. Research. You're absolutely right. And we can, they won't even have to come. To the, the next time night. we have somebody won't come to court, that's where we need to send them first. We weren't thinking. Oh, that's fine. I just, I just thought it no. might. It or might. maybe they could come and sit and then we go. Finance or needs assistance. They can send us the information yeah. we need. We can follow well, up with finance them. in this case. Uh, you know what? You're right. Or I could have signed it to it tonight. I could have said, sorry, we'll get back with the committee. Well, we need to get back on Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. And then get a recommendation from the committee. Yeah, that's why we have the well, committee. We'll have all the information. In, and they won't even have to be here this late at night, you know, talking. We will already have it all. Good deal. Yep. Good deal. Done. Got anything else? Uh, no. 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 Uh, does anybody have anything for the good of the body? Yes. The governor is coming on yes. Friday from 11.30 to 1. He'll be doing a town hall meeting here, here. in the auditorium. 11.30 to 1. Oh, I do have one thing. Yes. Uh, ended a rally on Saturday about them closing the uh, the uh, TVA number three coal fire. Is it going to be down the there? The vote's supposed to be Thursday. Okay. And they had uh, the governor come out. It was down in Milburg County. And the several uh, legislators, it was a pretty good uh, rally. We'd like to see more, but uh, it's just trying to get aware of that the TVA good. board is getting ready to vote, and they right. could be closing down you got the coal fire yeah. uh, unit number uh, three at TVA. They've done some things that could are really bad, affect our local. Done a lot of good things too. We'll, we'll actually be up there like the Thursday morning, which is another thing if any of you want to leave it. 4 a.m. Thursday morning, we're heading to uh, Frankfurt. Uh, to see the uh, legislator, have breakfast with them, go to a bunch of meetings, and then we're going to stay for a reception after they recess that afternoon. And, and just so everybody knows, that will be done by the TVA board. It's not. Yes. It's, it's their own board, so it's not yes. by, done by the legislator or the the governor or even the president. So. Right. But they can put their input to they, it. We'll make yes. sure they do. So. Okay. Um, but uh, like like uh, Miranda said, try to come back out at 11:30 to the governor's town hall meeting Friday. Uh, I've been to two of them recently, and you'll be impressed with this uh, top. Uh, weren't you? Weren't you? Uh, you were there to one of them, maybe both of them. And uh, he he uh, he he'll surprise you. And he won't call any question. He'll answer any question you ask him. But this time, yeah, I'm going to call this meeting adjourned.